Are we the last to arrive at the cosmic party? According to David Garofalo, a renowned astrophysicist, the answer might be yes. Garofalo proposes that advanced life, like we find on Earth, is most likely to arise around main-sequence stars, the longest-lived, most stable stars, in isolated environments. These environments are less disturbed by feedback from active galactic nuclei, or AGN, which are black holes at the center of galaxies that are actively absorbing matter. These allow stars to evolve stably. The role of AGN in star and planet formation is critical. Counter-rotating accreting black holes, that is, black holes spinning in opposite directions, trigger star and planet formation by allowing cold gas to flow into the nucleus of the newly formed galaxy. Garofalo argues that the greatest number of isolated field galaxies underwent a merger leading to this scenario about 11 billion years ago. This suggests that advanced life, capable of interstellar communication, likely first arose around 5 billion years after these black hole merger events, or about 6 billion years ago. But what about metallicity, or the abundance of elements heavier than helium? Wouldn't there have been less of these essential planet-forming elements 6 billion years ago? Garofalo says not necessarily. The isolated elliptical galaxies harboring the critical AGN are not expected to harbor low metallicities. These galaxies are triggered by mergers with abundant cold gas, possibly from a disk-like galaxy. Now, if you're enjoying this cosmic journey, take a moment to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future content. Picking up where we left off, if Garofalo is right, then we need to rethink our search for extraterrestrial life. We might be looking for Kardashev Type III civilizations, a concept proposed by astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev that classifies civilizations by their ability to harness energy. A Kardashev Type III civilization is able to access all the energy emitted by its galaxy. Garofalo concludes that humanity is late to the cosmic party. If there is a peak for the emergence of technologically advanced life in the universe, it is likely in the past. But that doesn't mean we're necessarily alone. Other partygoers might be just arriving. And who knows, maybe someday two of these civilizations will manage to contact each other. For that to happen, we need to know where to direct our efforts in this vast universe. In conclusion, Garofalo's theory reminds us that the universe is an incredibly vast and ancient place, and that we still have much to learn about our place in it. So, are we latecomers to the cosmic party? Perhaps, but the party is far from over. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time.